welcome to the stage your host, Caitlin. So when I walked on the stage, you could just see the gears start turning. I stopped thinking about beer and Jesus for two seconds. <laughs> to be like, there's a lady on the stage. <laughs> but I was like, I was so pumped. I was like, I am in a BFW in Delaware, Ohio, in front of an audience with varying amounts of teeth. Like, here we are. <laughs> so I step out there, and the first thing out of my mouth is, oh, hi. Bachelorette party, I'm hot. And this guy in the front row looks at me and goes, What? <laughs> I got nothing, sir. <laughs> so I I start going, and I have this joke about how I don't want children unless they're prodigies, because you know, priorities. <laughs> and this that guy looks up at me and goes, you know, hamsters eat their young, you could always do that. <laughs> like, suddenly I don't feel safe in Ohio. <laughs> but like the only thing I could think back to say to this guy was, well, um, can I deep fry them first? <laughs> and he looks me dead in the eyes and goes, yes, yes you can. <laughs> like, what the hell did I just eat backstage? Because I don't think it was chicken anymore. <laughs> I, uh, I am actually still in school. Um, I don't really like to tell people where I go to school though, because they usually get kind of weird about it. I was once at a state and this guy was like, oh, where do you go to school? And I was like, oh, um, I go to Harvard. And he goes, oh yeah? What am I thinking? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I study psychology, not gypsy magic. <laughs> There's like so many weird people that go to my school though. One day I was like walking class, I'm drinking a Red Bull, and this girl comes up to me and she goes, Oh my god, I love Red Bull. I drink like six a day. <laughs> I'm no Dr. Cheryl, but I'm pretty sure you're fucking dying. What? <laughs> it's like, oh no, no. Like, I don't. I don't drink up for the energy or anything, I just like the taste. Oh, you drink Red Bull for the taste, ooh. I suck dick just for the taste, just for the taste. <laughs> um, I actually, I do study Spanish in school. Yo soy cultured, thank you. Uh, it's great, except there's always that one kid in class that you hope gets an un accidente. There's this girl, Adrian. And she always tries to have like the most authentic Spanish accent, even though she's clearly from like Chestnut Hill. <laughs> and one day we're all sitting in class and Adrienne raises her hand and she goes, excuse me, senorita, what is the Spanish word for taco? <laughs> Ooh, sister, you better jump out La Ventana right now, because that's Dora the Explorer season one, okay? <laughs> oh my god. I, uh, I grew up in a really old house, so I used to tell people that it was haunted. With type 2 diabetes, my family's really fat. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mom. Uh, uh, like, my family gave thanks to two people on Thanksgiving, Jesus and Ronald McDonald. Like, we go to other kids' houses, and their parents would be like, Oh, do you want, like, an apple or some trail mix? I'd be like, fuck trail mix. That's just chocolate chips with obstacles, and I am not ready for a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I once uh, I once had this roommate, and she's like, you know, I really think I want to name my daughter Arugula. I'm like, you know, I think I really want to move out. <laughs> she's like, no, I just, I really like Arugula. I'm like, all right, that's how we name our kids now, by things we like. Well, watch out, world, my kid garlic bread vodka porn shall be arriving never! <laughs> all right, you guys ready to get the show on the road? Woo! 